It's known as the Doomsday Glacier, and scientists are growing more concerned about it. The Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica is one of the largest on Earth and is larger than the state of Florida. According to a new study, scientists say sometime in the last 200 years, the base of the glacier retreated twice as much than observed in the last 10 years. That means the glacier can shrink much faster than previously thought. If it collapses, scientists say the global sea level could increase several feet and put coastlines at risk of destruction. Joining us now to talk more about this concerning finding, Terry Tamanen. He's the president and CEO of Alta Sea at the Port of Los Angeles. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Uh, how concerned should we be about this glacier melting? We should be very concerned. Uh, scientists have been telling us about this for quite some time. And in parallel with that, the Greenland ice mass is suffering a similar decline. And part of what we're starting to learn now with new science, both in terms of the Thwaites Glacier and Greenland, is how fast the meltwater underneath these giant uh, ice flows is melting. And that's something that's been much harder to study because you can't get cameras down there and sensors, although now they're starting to do that. And what we're finding is, you know, imagine that you had some ice on the top of your of your table and uh, and then suddenly you had some water underneath it well it would slide much faster off the table and the same thing is happening here and so uh, i think we need to be very concerned because the consequences of this happening rapidly especially if it happens both in the arctic and the antarctic at the same time that could just be catastrophic to our our coastal cities and infrastructure is there a way to reverse this or even slow the process at this point? Honestly, not a lot because uh, scientists told us that we really needed to stop greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere at about 350 parts per million, and we're already at over 420 parts per million. So even if we stop dumping our carbon pollution into the atmosphere tomorrow, which unfortunately we're not going to do, it would take quite some time for that concentration to diminish back to uh, cooler, let's call it cooler levels. And so unfortunately, I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. And the one thing that, as you mentioned in the beginning of this piece, that we're seeing this great acceleration. It's not just this very slow change that we can adapt to over time, but this could happen in the next 10 to 15 or 20 years where literally uh, these, these ice sheets melt and fall into the ocean and raise sea levels 3 to 10 feet in a very short period of time. So uh, unfortunately, I'm afraid some of this is baked in, and the only question is how bad will it be and when? So what we need to be doing now is preparing our coastal infrastructure accordingly. And is it pretty clear that this is a symptom of climate change? Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt uh, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change which has been meeting for decades now. It's the world's leading scientists from all countries that come to consensus on their, their findings and their recommendations has told us that this is 99.9% .9 caused by humans and by uh, climate change and our continued pumping of carbon pollution into the atmosphere. I want to get your thoughts, lastly, on one individual who is stepping up in a pretty big way to fight climate change. The founder, founder of Patagonia is giving away his $3 billion company to, to fight this issue. What do you make of, of this bold move? We should note that he is um, getting avoiding taxes big time on this as well. Well, he's avoiding taxes, but that's only because he's also avoiding the profit he would have gotten by keeping the company. So I think that's actually kind of a misleading headline. Um, no, he's being very generous. I know Yvonne Chouinard. I, I've admired him for a long time. He's been bold in terms of everything from uh, climbing mountains to then starting Patagonia and making it a company that was more interested in the planet and what it could do to help rather than just take profits. And this is really something that I think other philanthropists and other very wealthy individuals should be looking at and considering modeling because their business won't exist. I mean, stop and think about if the Thwaites Glacier melts and sea levels rise three to 10 feet, we're gonna lose airports, we're going to lose ports. So all of the goods that, for example, Amazon transports every day will have a hard time getting to consumers and people won't have the money to buy anything. So, uh, so this is self-preservation for these companies. Definitely some serious consequences if left unchecked. Terry Tamanen, appreciate your time and your insight, sir. My pleasure.